animatedanatomy.com. Now I will talk about the intermediate muscles. In a previous lesson, I have talked about the lateral waller and the medial waller of the hand muscles. Well, now there are three groups of muscles left. Actually, this is the intermediate group of muscle. But when we say, for example, lumbrical muscles, that includes more muscles. And, and when we say dorsal interosseous muscles, it includes more muscles. You will just see that in a second. Now here I have isolated the first group of muscles that I will talk about, and that is the lumbrical muscles. These lumbrical muscles are very specific and interesting because they have the origin on the flexor digitorum profundus. And this is the flexor digitorum profundus. I have talked about this muscle in my reviews lessons in my software. Well, now when they have the origin on this muscle, the insertion is the extensor expansion. Now here we see the extensor expansion or the dorsal expansion. It is an anatomical term that refers to the special reconnective attachments by which the extensor tendons insert into the phalanges. Now in these extensor um, uh, ex extensor expansions here, we have the lumbrical muscles from here and they insert over there behind. Now I will remove everything else so we can talk about these lumbrical muscles. See how they insert back on the back of the, the fingers but they come from this side. They serve for the <coughs> flexion of the metacarpal phalangeal joints and also extension of the interphalangeal joints. Now, if you look at it here, when they flex, when they contract, they're going to flex these joints here. Okay. However, at the same time, they're going to make these here interphalangeal joints extend. That is what's very specific for them. So in this joint here, because of the structure where they or originate and insert, they will create the flexion here. And here they will create the, expan uh, the extension. They are innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve and also by the median nerve. Let's start by palmar interossi muscles. Here is one palmar interossi muscle. Here is another and another one. Now these muscles serve for the adduction of the fingers. Uh, they have the origin of the metacarpal bones and they insert on the proximal uh, phalanges. Now if you analyze all these three muscles, the palmar and interossi muscles, it is quite clear when this muscle contracts, you can see the way the fibers go, it's going to pull the index finger towards the middle finger and these other two will pull these fingers laterally simply because they're on this side and when they contract it's going to pull the fingers towards the middle finger that's why this is sir this serves for the adduction of fingers now we have also the dorsal interossi muscles that i will uh, just uh, show you first we have to remove these palmar muscles and select the dorsal ones and here are dorsal interossi muscles and these dorsal interossi muscles have different function they don't serve to adduct fingers to pull them together they serve to spread fingers like when you spread all your fingers the most you can that's when these dorsal interossi muscles are working and here uh, they have the origin also on metacarpal bones and also insertion on the proximal uh, phalanges. Uh, take a note, there are more of them. And once uh, this muscle here contracts, of course it's gonna pull the hand lateral, pull the finger laterally. And same here, because they don't just insert on one side. And um, they're innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve, just like the uh, palmar interossi muscles. Uh, they antagonize each other. 
Now I will talk about the muscles of the hip and muscles of the lower limbs. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe or like my video.